What should I cook next? Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? No, we just happen to be passing by. What are I see. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. Eat before you go. The first picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics! My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. That's okay. Let's see what you can do. You won't get a lot of chances like this to learn from a survival expert. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. I'm the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. Nice to meet you. Have you got all the ingredients? You can use my pot right here. Use it all you want. Is it done? Mmm, smells good. Let me try. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, uh oh. The taste is hard to describe. A borderline pass. What? He can do better. That doesn't count. You have great potential. All you need is more practice. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Can we really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. Go have a look when you've got the time. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon! <laughs> Under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Havonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Havonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. 
It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky Honey Roast. Sticky Honey Roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. Everything we have is a blessing from Barbados. May the God of Alamo protect you. So, the present I want to give you is a wind glider. Riders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you, so you can experience it right away. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Ah, <sighs> alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions.
fall with the power of a thousand winds. Now, concentrate. See yourself grasping the wind. Harness its energy. Who said that? got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? <laughs> or a new storm? Storm Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself! Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time. We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters.
seems to be the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Let's head in. We agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean, I've brought them. <sighs> and once it was over, I brought them straight here. Mondstadt welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? <laughs> You're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm Terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. <sighs> if it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your sister. Too. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There is no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right, we need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. Want to team up with me? Huh. I should warn you though, I don't slow down for anyone, Greenhorn or otherwise. With Jean by our side, nothing can stand in our way. At least, that's what I want to say. But I can't keep spouting that same old line. She always dashes headlong into the heat of the battle, and we want her to take better care of herself. I really hope that one day, I can look Jean in the eye and tell her she doesn't need to worry anymore, because we have her back. <laughs> 